Welcome back guys, this is Alcoholic Endeavors, and today we are going to be making bubblegum shooters. Unlike my uh, actual bubblegum bubblegum vodka. Actually, I wonder... Hold that, hold that thought, hold that thought. Uh, that looks a little nasty in there. Uh, it might be fine. Anyways, we are going to be making bubblegum shooter. It requires vodka, cream de banana, pineapple juice, and a splash of grenadine. And I'm going to move it up towards this thing, which I should have taken off the actual public domain in this thing, but I kind of forgot about it. Oh well. As long as you guys can't see it, it should be fine. I'm going to move it up to what this bubblegum tastes like. This bubblegum, I remade a, the bubblegum vodka to be um, Hubba Bubba instead. It's still sugary, but you can't actually see like a huge thing of sugar on here. I mean, you still can. It's not as bad as the um, double bubble, because that was just coated in sugar, and it just made a really weird, almost like an ash effect kind of way, like a white ash, and it just floated, and it's like, <laughs> it's so disgusting. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get down into making this. So vodka, one ounce, and you need to put this in a shaker, I'm assuming. That would be my guess, and that's what we're gonna do. One ounce of creme de banana. I should be doing pouring this on the other side. Maybe uh, it doesn't really matter. I could be doing this better. I could be pouring kind of closer to this is what I should be doing, but I keep forgetting that I need to do it that way. Half an ounce of pineapple juice. Should also be pouring bartender way, but I'm not smart enough for that. And then you need a splash of grenadine, and my splashes of grenadine don't really turn out to be splashes. So, well, that was a little overkill on the splash. That's like a quarter ounce, a half ounce, I don't know. It don't really matter, I guess. And we go ahead and give this a nice level shake. Should shake it a little longer because of grinding because it's heavier, but I'm not gonna bother. It should be fine. Ah, I see. That's why they call it a bubblegum shooter because it actually looks like pink, like bubblegum. And just for shits and giggles, probably gonna regret doing this. I'm only going to do like a half a shot of this, because uh, this shit's strong. Uh, just the way I remember it. <laughs> so strong. That's about half a shot. Actually, after sitting in there for quite a little while longer, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. When I first did this infusion 24 hours, 48 hours later, this shit was strong. It was very strong in flavor. We're going to go ahead and try the bubblegum shooter and see which, if it actually holds up to its name as bubblegum. I'm thinking probably fucking not. <laughs> it just looks like the color of bubblegum. Like there's a reddish pinkish kind of going thing going there. If I had it a little lighter, it probably would be better, but eh. And you're supposed to put like, um... You gotta rim this with pink sugar. I don't have pink sugar. I'm too lazy to go out and get pink sugar. Um, and I've been drinking already, so can't really go out and do that. I'm not in walking distance of a uh, liquor store or a grocery store or anything like that. And I don't have anybody else to really pick me. So let's go ahead and try this bubblegum shooter. Alright, it's very on the sweet side, um, it's a lot easier going than what I'm going to try to take on this, uh, but yeah, no, this is, uh, this is delicious. If I probably didn't go with so much grenadine, I think it would probably taste just a hair bit better, but it is relatively good. The pineapple and the uh, creme de banana actually complement each other quite well. And the grenadine, I'm assuming just supposed to add color to it. That's probably about it. Make it look like a pinkish color. Um, overall, good shot. Want to do it now after I fucking pour it? Uh, 
But I poured it, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Here we go. Bubblegum vodka. I've made this, it's a very easy thing to do. I've explained it in one of my other bubblegum videos that I did. It was like a bubblegum drink of some sort. Couldn't come up with a name with it, so I just called it bubblegum drink. Um, all you need to do is you get your bubblegum, put it in a jar, put in a vodka, rum, whatever the fuck you want to put it into, shake it on up, throw it in a um, free air, not a freezer, a refrigerator, or you probably could get it. Oh, fuck you too. That's actually very interesting. It just, uh, the uh, shaker, the pressure in the shaker popped the lid, but instead of actually going off the table, it actually landed in back into the shaker. That's talented. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you don't have to put this in the refrigerator, you can just sleep it out if you want. I put mine in the refrigerator because I like colder stuff. Um, and I think it probably preserves the taste just a little bit. Probably preserves it mainly for everything. Um, you just shake it up every four to six hours for the first 24 hours. Get the bubble gum out within the first 24 hours, 48 hours, however long you want it to sit for. I forgot about it, but, you know, that's besides the point. It's been like, I don't know, a couple days. Actually, I think it might have been longer than that. Uh, it's probably fine. Um, it's probably gone. I don't think we'll be fine. Maybe. Um, so, yeah, you just do that and... You have your bubblegum vodka. I want to go over the bubblegum vodka. Oh, it's right there. That'd be good with a little bit of simple syrup and something else, like Sprite or something. But that right there is delicious. My God. It feels like I'm chewing bubblegum right now. It's not like... It is hubba bubba strength. It's not as bad as what I had before. Like the double bubble. You get that sugar in there and it's just like, oh god. Both shots, delicious. Would recommend it. If you decide to make bubblegum infused vodka, I recommend going with less bubblegum. I went with 10, 10 pieces. I should have went with 5. And probably went with a little less uh, vodka in general because I got it up to 3 fourths. I haven't drank much out of this. I probably should have went with half, but yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. But anyways, if you got any uh, shots or drink ideas you want to give me, leave them down below. Give me specifics if you need to, or just give me a shot idea or a drink idea. Just write it down. I'll find it. And if it's not the right one, tell me. It happens. And I'll make a video and we'll... I might even actually make a, a group video of it, just like three shots of top comments or something, or something sort of like that. Probably not all of it, but eh. Now if it's a fucking drink out of everything I have on my bar, I might look at you and say, no. Maybe if I get to a special subscriber count, but I'm not doing that. I don't feel like dying. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, hope to see you next time. If you like that, go check out my other videos. We now have a Discord link down in the description. If any of you guys have a drink or shot recipe, leave it down in the comment section below. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you all next time.